In this particular lesson, onto the Wing Chun training, I will go through with you onto the block, how to block in the side kick using the hand and position your hand in the right place, otherwise you won't be able to use it. When you practice with this particular movement, you have to do all the basics that I done on all the other exercises to get you to here. Otherwise, when you come to doing this particular movement, your body is not in line and you don't know where you are. The technique can be useless. But if you're ready, let me show you here how to do that particular exercise. Let me body your chair. Now, important thing is you've got to know where to block and how to block. So if you side kick me in here, that's where the line would say, for instance, that's a kick coming to your stomach. Your hand is to be inside, like this, okay, in here to block your arm, like this, okay? So when you start to practice, let's go slowly. Let's go one, so side, like that, in that here. And then, on this side, you can turn the hand in either way. So if you kick me this side, I can block this side. If you go back on the calf, yeah, okay? So basically, when it's kicked that again up here, your calf the here, your hand cut inside here. That can be very painful. It depends how strong your arm is, okay? And then inside here, if you want, if you're strong, you go on this side, okay? Like that. Okay, back again. So let me show you. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So let me show you here 10, if you're ready. Ready, go one, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see when I'm doing the movement on this, when it starts to kick, I have to turn my body on the side. If they kick me and I go like this, imagine I go like this and the kick still can come in inside because he forced the weight coming inside, kick, that's land. That is why on all the lesson I explain to you when you start to move, must be turned. Otherwise, it's no use when you start to use that. Let me demonstrate that again. When you keep coming in, turn. That's why you can be out in line here. Later on, when the side keep coming in, I learn, boom, boom, I'm into the here because I'm outside the line. That's when you start to practice. Make sure you're learning right. Let me show you here when you're doing freely. And you've got to remember when you work with this is you don't try with another poxy little Wing Chun guy that he's going to do this to you. This is randomly the people do that to you in the street. Freely when he move, you don't move in and try to do like this, like this. This is where you're going to have problem. Your leg have to be moved freely. So when he kick, come in, and I could be boom, boom, like here. When he coming in, I'll be like, boom, I'm here. The whole idea of this is my leg move freely and when it comes to attack, I have to move in to do the damage. So when you do that movement, come in, I come in, boom, I'm here, I'm in line, see? I'm here or I'm coming here, I'm going to start to work. But if it start to kick coming in and I go like this on the hand and it's not in the right line, I cannot use my leg then. So when you move freely with him, when it start to boom, come, I start to come in, I can work with him. And I start to come in, I can start to work with him. Okay, so one, two, for instance, let me show you again. Again, boom, boom, and then line on the side. Like, we, you still in the wing chun movement. Thank you for that. That is the most important thing. Don't really matter how you move in your hand and your leg. You always, when you attack or block, you have to go back to the wing chun position that we teach you. Because in the street training, and in the class for traditional, it's slightly different. Practice this movement as much as you can with your partner. And I will see you on to the next lesson.